I am in Waco, Texas today, and I am going to check out all of Chip and Joanna Gaines' creations here in this city. They have created an empire here. Um, if you don't know who they are, they are the hosts or the creators of Fixer Upper. So here in Waco, Texas, they have this place called Magnolia Market or the Silos, and she has created, or they both have created this awesome place. It's like an outdoor shopping area with some retail shops. They have food trucks. They also have a coffee shop and some other things. I think like a baseball field. And I'm really excited to check that out because Joanna has a, a home furnishing store there too. So you kind of get to see a layout of how she has done all her interior design. And they also have a restaurant called Magnolia Table. And I'm about to head out there now. And I made this reservation maybe like a couple weeks ago because I've heard that it fills up really quickly. It's a very busy and popular restaurant. And also Magnolia Market is very busy too. I've heard that they've had the same amount of tourists as the Alamo now. I'm actually staying at the La Quinta Inn in Waco, downtown Baylor. And it's only a half a mile to the Magnolia Market. It's pet friendly there. So that's another reason why I wanted to visit here was because I could take Kuma with me. Oh, and another thing they have is their original shop on Bosque. So it's a little bit away from the silos in the Magnolia Market area. But I wanted to check that out too because it was Joanna's first store that she started with Chip in 2003. So my plan today is to have breakfast at Magnolia Table, come back, pick up Kuma, then we're gonna go to Magnolia Market, and then I'm gonna bring Kuma back, and then I'll probably go check out the shop and probably call it for the day. I made a reservation at eight, I'm gonna get there at 7.40, a little bit early, but <clears throat> thought I could take some pictures and stuff around there first before I sit down. Magnolia table. Yep, people taking pictures. <laughs> They're already busy. So this is the menu. You can get breakfast and lunch. I decided to get the lemon lavender donut holes. It's cake donut holes drizzled in a lemon lavender glaze. And then just the pancake breakfast. So this is it. It came out really fast. It doesn't look fresh, so I'm a little disappointed in that. But we'll see how it tastes. That was right, super fast. <laughs> Thank you. So I thought they were gonna come out fresh, but they were like pre-made. So it's like hard. Like it's good, but I just wish it was hot and fresh. Mm. Coffee's good. So this is what I got, the pancake breakfast. Things are good. These tater tots are good. I don't even really like tater tots. All right, let me taste the pancakes real quick. That's oh, nice and fluffy. Mm. Pancakes are good. So yeah, everything else was good. Donut holes, disappointed. So I went to have breakfast by myself with Okuma because she can't eat indoors and it's a little cold today to eat outdoors. So did that real quick this morning and now I'm heading to Magnolia Market at the Silos with Kuma because it's dog friendly there. But yeah, there's like a lot of construction going on around here. So roads are a little bit confusing sometimes. Okay, there's the Silos. Turn left onto Wester Avenue, then parking. turn left. Sure, it says entrance to Hellwind, but is that the parking or is it somewhere else? Like a lot of people street parking around here. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this, the parking situation is here. Oh my gosh, I have to parallel park. I suck at parallel parking. All right, so I just did some street parking. I'm not sure if there's a parking lot. I thought there would be, but I just saw somebody park here. So I'm just going to do some street parking. You ready to go? All right, let's do this. Once again, there's lots of construction. It says entrance. How to enter the silos property. <laughs> okay. 
Everybody's going this way, so I'm gonna follow them. So there's Magnolia Press, that's the coffee shop. So this coffee shop is open from seven to six, Monday through Saturday. Oh yeah, so this place is closed on Sundays, this whole area. Please be aware that you are entering an area where photography, audio, and video recording may occur in connection with one of our one or more television programs or video projects. So this is it. They open at nine, so they just open. It's very quiet, but here I am at the silos. So there's several staff members around the property that can answer questions for you. Uh, I asked them about the parking situation and there is no official parking lot. It's just all street parking, which I was kind of surprised about because this is a pretty big place. So just to have street parking is kind of crazy to me. Maybe eventually they'll build a parking lot. They have six shops, bath and body, bags and jewelry, women's clothing, kids and baby, men's provisions, books and paper. So these are all the shops right here. So cute. Oh, and this is the, the church that they renovated. They like moved this church and then brought it over here and renovated it. The old church constructed using elements preserved from an abandoned church across town. The original church built in 1894. Mmm, smells great in here. This is where your dogs can relieve themselves. Kuma, do you need to go? So they have like dog waste bags and stuff. That's nice. So yeah, dogs can do whatever here, but that lawn that's in the middle of the shops, dogs cannot go on that lawn. So this is the area where you can play some wiffle ball. Uh, dogs are not allowed on this lawn either, so I can't go on there but looks like they have some snacks available so people can sit around. Again, lots of construction. <laughs> so the food trucks are here. It doesn't look like they're open yet though. I'm not sure what time they open. Okay, so they got the Magnolia Table and Silos, Baking Co. and Maggie's Sweet Shop. And this is the field from the other side. And as Chip said in their show, uh, Babe Ruth actually played at this field. So kind of a historic significance. So we got the shops at Silos, Magnolia Press, Magnolia Home, Silos Baking Co. and Magnolia Market. And over on that side is the silos that you see. There's actually a train passing through. So lots of outdoor sitting areas. Looks like more restrooms over there, more food trucks. And here is the silos that you see all the time. Completed in 1950, the 120-foot tall silos originally served as storage for the Brazos Valley Cotton Oil Company. This is their bakery shop here. Can't go in with my dog, but here it is. I guess it gets really busy because they have uh, chains here for a line forming. So from this point, it's 30 minutes, but right now there's no way you can just go right in. And then right across is Magnolia. Going to Magnolia now. Ooh, looks so nice. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Lots of cool things everywhere. All these pillows are great. I love them. Oh my. I might have to get this. I love this pillow. There's Joanna. I love these little picture frames too. $22. These will be cool, like plant planners. I'm not trying to 60. Okay. For the big one. The little one is 26. Oh man, this is heaven. Oh, Joanna's book. 
Apparently they have like six best-selling bestseller books. I basically want everything in here. All kitchen stuff. So if you want, they'll ship it for you. All right, they even have a Magnolia Market and Garden. This is their garden. Seed and supply. Looks like they're actually growing stuff. It smells so nice in these stores. Hats, gardening tools. So I checked out the other side where the silos are and saw the garden and the Magnolia uh, furnishing store where there's lots of home decor stuff. And now I am back at the church and the little retail shops. All right, so this is the baby store, Juniper and Crew. Good morning. Good morning. Can you see if you're sturdy first at all? Oh, okay. This is Reverie, women's clothing. All right, let's check this out. These jeans look pretty comfortable. It's 89, not bad. Looking at yourself? <laughs> Checking yourself out? Yeah. I actually like this coat here. It's like I have enough jackets and coats. This is actually only 125, which is not bad. This is tried and true bags and accessories. So I've checked out three little retail shops on that side, Juniper Crew, Reverie, and tried and true. Now I'm going to the other side and checking out the other three little retail shops kind of tiring. <laughs> Kuma's already ready to go. Kuma, come on. We still got we still got stuff to check out. And I still have to check out Magnolia Home. VBN I I Amy. <laughs> Don't even know how to pronounce this. Bath and Body. <sighs> Hi. Hi. I want these rollers. Next one, chapter one. This is books and paper. Mm. It's her favorite green. All these matches are cool. We got one last little retail shop. This is number 16. This is actually Chip's store, or Man Goods. Number 16 is actually Chip's favorite number. Oh, this is great. So this has a carabiner where you can just attach it to something. Pretty sure I've seen Chip wear a vest jacket like this. Definitely seen Joanna wear this. It's 26 bucks. Chip! Okay, so now, checked out all the retail shops, the little ones, and uh, now I am going to Magnolia Home. Oh my gosh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> I want everything. Oh, I like this pillow. Oh, I do like this back table here. This lamp is 125. That's actually not bad. Hmm. I actually do like some of her rugs. It's definitely a lot more busy now. It's uh, close to one. 
now I'm hungry. And all the food trucks seem to be open. Whew, all right, what a day. It's um, one o'clock, so I've been here for four hours now. Uh, did a lot of uh, browsing and shopping, and now it's time to eat. Got some Asian food, it's called Club Sandwich. So there's like a bunch of food trucks around here. From pizza to brisket, to burgers, grilled cheese. Yeah, there's a lot to choose from, but I went with Asian. They were giving out some tasters, so I really like their chicken bulgogi. It's really good. Yeah, I did a little bit of shopping. I got um, this rose quartz facial roller. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. So I thought, why not at the silos? Just like roll this on your face. Hmm, feels pretty good actually. You know, cause I'm getting older. I gotta take care of my skin. And I got this cute little ring. I'm all about dainty jewelry. I actually love this little case that it comes in. Looks like a book. And I got this little dainty heart ring. So cute. And I'm also thinking about getting a couple of accent pillows from the couch. Um, I've been looking for uh, these particular accent pillows that have like a lot of texture to it. And it's a little bit on the pricier side, but it is on par with the other pillows I've been looking at as far as pricing and it just looks gorgeous. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go back and get those pillows too. So I am done at the silos. I did end up getting those pillows. I mean, look how awesome they are. All that texture and my oatmeal color that I love. I also wanted to get a brown pillow and it's really hard to find brown pillows, especially with like this kind of texture. And then I got another texture pillow, a square one like this. Yeah, I've been looking for pillows like this, so I'm glad I got it here. So it was a really fun morning, actually day. It was a re So I spent like half a day there, right when I opened at nine and now it's almost two. So I spent five hours at this place. I mean, it is humongous. I, didn't, I knew it was kind of big, but I didn't know it was this big. So I am pretty tired. So if I'm tired, I know Kuma's tired. What are you doing? You tired? I'm pretty tired. You did a good job. Great job walking along with me. Proud of you. Okay, I am so tired from <laughs> exploring the silos, but I told myself that I would explore the Bosky store too, their original Magnolia store. So I'm gonna go check that out and um, then call it a day. So let's see, it's a four miles away, about 10 minutes. I also don't really like driving in Waco because of all the construction. Um, like the GPS tells you to go one way, but then the road's blocked. So then you have to turn around and I'm just, I get lost. This store on um, Bosky, it's on 3801 Bosky Boulevard. And this is the original Magnolia store that Joanna and Chip started back in 2003. I just love their whole story. I think it's so sweet and you know I get why people love them because they're just so humble and they seem down to earth. They have five super cute children and they live on a farm. I mean it's kind of like I wish I had their life. Must be here. Your destination is on oh the right. Oh my gosh it's here. So tiny. Okay, so there it is, the Magnolia store. It's called the Little Shop on Bosky. There's some marked down items here. It's cute. I kind of like this. It's very small. 60% off. What else do we have? Oh, more stuff. Scratch and dent items. Okay. Some stuff that's scratched or dented, $20 for that. This is $10. I do like these, these are cute. Hmm. More pillows, but not the color I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. 
So I did it. I checked out the original Magnolia store too. And I can't believe how tiny that store is. Um, and to think that, you know, that's all the space that they had that they started out with. Um, but now that store is a discount store. So there's clearance items um, or slightly damaged items too. They have some clothing, um, home decor, paper goods. There's a little bit of everything from all their little retail stores at the silos. So if you're looking for discounted items, that's the place to go. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.